Good morning to each and every one of us present here today. This is the second day of the virtual NSID of the Baal National High School teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, before I begin, let me sing to you a song. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how do you do? I am glad to be with you and you and you and you. I am really so glad to be with each and every one of us, even during this COVID-19 pandemic time. Why did I say pandemic time? Because my, my task today, I will be discussing to you the roles of online teachers in this pandemic world. And so I repeat. The objectives of my topic today are the following. Discuss various roles of online teachers, enumerate roles of online teachers in this pandemic world, and embrace the importance of online teaching. COVID-19 has put the world to a halt. Stop. Halt is stop. Everyone, not only in Baal, even all throughout the world, we have experienced locked down. Locked, as in ho, gumamit tayo ng susi at kandado. Yun ba yung Tagalog nun? I'm just not sure. But what I mean is, each and every one of us, elite or non-elite, middle class or the poor ones, experience of not coming out of their houses, of their homes. Everyone gets famished, especially, most especially, the poor ones. However, people were able to experience planting rice is never fun. They even experienced how to plant. Plant kamote. Plant kamote ng kahoy. Plant talong. Ladies and gentlemen, what I mean is dumidiskarte ang bawat isa sa atin because of hunger. There is no more supply from the government. COVID-19 is indeed nakakasakit ng puso. Kasi hanggang ngayon, we still experience this COVID-19. Ang sabi yung Russia daw may naimbento na. But when will that be? na inventong bakuna, eh ikaw, magpapabakuna ba? Nakakatapon. Discarte na lang tayo lahat. School was not spared. All activities, even here in Baal National High School, even in the school of all other places, sa ESMA, ay LCCB na pala, sa Iriga, sa Manila, sa Manels, ang sabi nga, hindi nakalbiso. All activities were put to a stop. Even essential services like education and commerce, mga bangko, sarado din. Si Victoria Secret, nako, Wala. They have announced that they are permanently closed because of COVID-19. E paano pa yun? Sarap pa namang magsuot ng mga Victoria's Secret, di po ba? But then, only healthcare facilities and selected commercial establishments were allowed to operate. Ladies and gentlemen, at school, hanggang ngayon, walang pumapasok. Pumasok man, 
laging kumpleto dapat magsuot ng PPE. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we were not spared. Remote learning. Remote learning occurs when the learner, yung gusto matuto po, and instructor, pwede po ako din nun, or source of information are separated by time and distance, therefore cannot meet in a traditional classroom setting. Tipong yung kantang ni, uh, let's see, ba yun? Uh, let me look at my copy ni Sheena Easton. Uh, mga panahon po natin. Ang title po nun ay Telephone. Ganito po yun. Long, long distance love affair. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I meet you on the telephone. But you're never home. Na ah, long distance. Long distance love affair. Long distance relationship. Remote learning. Parang halos magkatubma ho. Kasi yung learner ay nasa ibang lugar. Yung teacher, yung instructor ay nasa iba din lugar. Remote learning keep students engaged. Remote learning builds strong relationship to the student and teacher, they have this connection when we have this remote learning environment. May pinafollow ako sa YouTube, ang pangalan po noon ay Pocket Full of Primary. May mga suggestions siya, ang sabi daw po, to be able to keep students engaged, pwede ding ang sabihin ng guro ay, o oh, sige, mga anak ko, Mga estudyante ko, gawa nga kayo ng letter. But before that, para yung estudyante ay mas lalong engaged, eh, ano kaya kung teacher muna, yung instructor muna, yung magsudat? Any simple letter will do so that they will reverberate what you have done. In that way, kahit ano lang po, mom o mga anak, here I am. Yung tipong kay Jimmy Fallon, ganyan, sulat ka na. Hercules, how are you today? I am so happy because I have seen my long lost Best friend, what about you? What did you do today? Hercules, your teacher, Mom, China. Eh, syempre, kung biglang papadalahan mo ng sulat ang estudyante mo, masaya. They will definitely feel the happiness. Why? Because you were able to give importance to the boy, to the girl, to your student. That would be the start of keeping them engaged, even though they are so far away from you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an example of a remote learning, building strong relationships. Let me read to you or cite to you again what a remote learning is. Remote learning occurs when the learner and instructor or source of information are separated by time and distance and therefore cannot meet in a traditional setting. Wala na hong face to face. It is a cost efficient way to reach many people with resources that would otherwise be unreachable through a flexible, customizable, accessible learning space. How to engage in an online setup efficiently and 
effectively. Para sa akin, mas maganda pa rin yung traditional education na kung saan naaamoy mo yung mga estudyante na kung saan sinasaway mo sila mismo sa sobra nilang kulit. I remember my students, they even said, Uy, ma, ang ganda-ganda mam na lipstick mo. But here, in the remote learner, learning, I think it would be difficult to experience all those things. Kaya mas maganda pa rin yung traditional setup of education, of learning. However, ladies and gentlemen, hindi naman ho pwedeng will go away with whatever we want to. May gobyerno, andyan si Deped Secretary Briones, whatever she says, let us follow. Prevention is better than cure. The DOH, the pasada rin ko nada, nag-aanunsyo sila kung ano yung mga dapat nating gawin para maiwasan yung sakit nga ni COVID-19. Hindi natin kasi siya nakikita. However, as such, remote learning or online setup is better now, nowadays, than the traditional classroom setup. Iwas sakit. Eh, teka. Suot tayo ng face mask. Kung walang face mask, ano, gamit na lang ng panyo. Remote learning, making use of hanky, ladies and gentlemen, is already a simple learning on how to or kung paano gamitin yung mga andun lamang sa bahay. Traditional learning, dati, okay. Pero ngayon, mas maganda yung remote learning. Iwas sa sakit, sabi ni DOH. The role of teacher, either online or traditional, is very crucial. Learners rely on the facilitator to bridge the physical distance between them. Teachers should encourage students to engage during online lessons. Teachers can assign students to read uploaded materials before the class to encourage engagement during online discussion. And also by making use of total physical response is another role of a teacher. Sabi nga po, I remember Ma'am Juby telling me, yung itsura pa lang ng guro, whether you are conducting online classes or whether it is traditional, itsura mo pa lang on how you are going to project yourself in front of your students is already an example of of letting your students be engaged with you. Kung paano kang nakasmile. Kung paano mo binibikas ng tama ang salitang manga kung sa English ay mango, hindi mango, they are also going to adopt that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a simple example of a total physical response. If we are going to have Google Meet, how will I be able to know that my students are following my instructions? Before the start of classes, why not let them ask 
to bring me this and bring me that. Bring me game. Ladies and gentlemen, that is po ay isang example kung paano sila makaka-relate sa bago mo o dati mo ng lesson. Si Dr. Debbie Javier, if we are also going to talk about how a teacher engage herself to a student conducting online classes, ang sabi daw po niya, kapag ang background is light, then you should wear dark clothes or not so dark clothes. Basta yung kitang kita ka po sa camera at walang masyadong uh, destruction sa likod. That is an example of a setup. Naalala ko, andito ngayon sa katabi ko si Sir Hercules Obenia ang sabi sa akin, Ma'am, be relaxed. Kasi if you will be conducting ma'am an online class, ang estudyante na hahalata din na ang guro ay hindi relaxed. Habang po nagtitaping kami as to when, will, whenever that be, ang sabi sa akin ni Sir Hercules, dapat daw merong magandang lighting. Merong magandang sound. That is, I think, one role of a teacher to be able to be conscious of the 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 room of the study room that she too will have comes August twenty fourth. That is, if we are going to conduct an online synchronous learning. Ang sabi pa sa, sa, sa account ni Dr. Debbie Javier, make your lesson simple, make your lesson short, make a little background, and your presentation should be visually clear. So that the students will be able to respond to you very well. There are considerations when working with students remotely. Number one, technology. Number two, students' emotional needs. Another one is we should also include electives. The next one would probably be the bandwidth and other demands on students. Technology. Eh, kapag technology po, ang simpleng tanong po ay, do they have the gadget? Meron po ba silang 3210? Meron po ba silang 8210? Meron po ba silang Samsung Galaxy Note? Meron po ba silang Simpleng pang-text. Meron po ba silang laptop? May smartphone? May tablet? May tablet? Naku. Nakaka... Uh, mapuok. As we say that. What about the, the, the families who cannot provide the teacher or who cannot provide their children to have at least one cell phone. You should also take into consideration the students' emotional needs. Are they ready with online learning? Handa na ba sila na kumuha ng mga modules? kung saan yung mga post na kukuhanan ng mga parents, handa na ba silang matutong mag-isa with the guidance of the parents? What do you think would their emotions be? Ano ba yung 
experiences nila within the day, throughout the day, masaya, malungkot, will they be able to learn during the day with those different experiences, with those different emotions? And next, another one is, we should also include electives, social media presence, Instagram, Facebook, ano pa ba? Twitter accounts, online games, Candy Crush. Naku, naalala ko rin na humaling din ako sa paglaro ng Temple Run. Minsan, na, uh, I remember na Past midnight na pala. I need to sleep. But online games. Nako, nakaka, in our term, nakakalawgaw. There is no more focus with the lessons. Much more if we are going to have the remote learning, the online learning. We should also take into consideration the peers, the responses of the peers. Ano ba? Okay ba sa mga... Barkada mo, mga kaibigan mo, ako, estudyante, okay ba sa akin na mag-enroll remote, with this remote learning? Okay ba? Ano bang susundin ko? Modular learning? Alam ko na ba kung ano yung synchronous learning? Alam ko na ba yung asynchronous learning? These topics were already discussed by Manny Trudis yesterday. Blended learning, in other words. We should also take into consideration ang napakabagal, ang napakabilis ng network natin, bandwidth. Ang mga estudyante, do they have enough data? Eh, yung globe, gaano ba kabilis? Yung nabibili nating data every day. Paano kang makakapag-text kay ma'am na tapos mo nang gawin yung assignment mo or you have a question with your assignment? eh, wala nga ang pambili ng globe. Is network, globe, smart, converge, PLDT, and etc., etc., are they always stable? We should take into consideration those things. But ladies and gentlemen, let us not be too negative about this. We should be able to take this positively. Let us take it as a uh, napakalaking challenge for us. Other demands, the family pressure. Sasabihin na nako, diri na muna ka mag-answer. Kito na module mo one, taag ko kita itatanom na seedling skin kamatis. Family pressure. Instead of the students doing the assignment, tatanim siya. Magtanim ay dibiro, maghapong na kayo po. Even though you are planting just at your backyard. Why? Because there are also students working or helping their parents. Eh, yung estudyante mo, grade 7, will not be able to answer the modules because yung nanay niya, bagong panganak. It is the responsibility of your student to take care of her siblings. Remote learning is still a big consideration. Eh, syempre, tayo din pong mga guro, what we should do is also to, to embrace them, be able to be convinced that they are studying at home, that they are engaged in the remote learning now. Embrace them in such a way that we should be considerate of whatever reasons they have. Teachers should also know other alternative platforms. Uh, si Sir Jet Rances, habang kausap ko, kasi tina, uh, he mentioned the word platform. Nako, eh, akong matanda na akala ko yung platform, yung tatayuan lang, 
at saka the platform of government. Ito pala yung ibig sabihin nun, that there are so many platforms or social networking services available when teachers can conduct online class. One is the use of the Microsoft Teams, the FB Messenger, yun ho ang ginagamit ko, Zoom, hirap na hirap pa rin po akong mag-follow ng Zoom, Google Meet, and yung lagi kong nakikita sa Facebook, eh, nakikita rin pala, ina-upload din ata yung TikTok app na very famous famous music, I do not know the title, it's tan 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 ta 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 TikTok is another kind of platform where a teacher may be able to teach, to impart her lessons. May na-broadcast na ho sa TV. It was news that's already been broadcasted broadcast na yung teacher, the one teacher, fame, they are famous now in TikTok, and ang sabi, itong dalawang teacher, even the nurse, meron pa, meron pa yung pong nurse, na naging famous sila kasi yung TikTok account, their messenger, their Facebook accounts, were used to teach students, were used to, to reach out for their students' learning. What should the teachers do during remote learning? Teachers may create segmented or divided lessons during a asynchronous lesson. They may also record short videos that students can watch any time of the day. They should also or they may also develop flashcards that they can download and that ipasa na lang po sa Facebook Messenger or sa group chat ng mga estudyante nitong gurong ito. And she may also upload other materials that students can either download or read remotely. Makikita po natin sa left portion ng inyong account, ng inyong PowerPoint, ng aking PowerPoint, there are samples there na kung saan yung guro ay naglagay ng mga pictures and ilinagay din yung platform kung saan niya i-refer yung lesson. What are the benefits of online teaching? Number one is flexibility. Kahit anong oras, pwede mong sagutan ang lesson mo. You can manage your own time. Kung anong commitment mo, pwede mo yung ma-insert. Whatever your commitment between home and work is there. That's what you mean by flexibility. No commuting. Wala nang hihingi sa mga nanay at tatay ng pamasahe. Kasi nasa bahay ka na lang nga eh. Yung mga modules kukunin na lang somewhere, hindi na hihingi ng pamasahe ang mga bata. Hindi na rin magbibigay minsan ng pamasahe ang mga guro sa bata para lang makapasok sa school. There, we should, there is no more also a worry of students coming to school late. Sa syudad din po o kahit nga dito din sa atin, sa Baaw, minsan nagkaka-traffic, wala na rin experience ang mga estudyante natin na traffic because of online teaching. Another one is stay organized. The plug and play or stored recorded lectures and homeworks. Andiyan na lang po. Bubukla doon na sana ka mga estudyante. Sisilingan na sana to be able to, that, that students will be able to stay organized and them easy na sa, easy na kanda to be able to manage these materials are already easy to navigate 
I think those are simple benefits of online teaching. Sa iyo na yung oras, walang hihingi ng baon, no commuting, and keeping each and every one of us organized. In the last day of our webinar, R.D. Gilbert T. Sedsad, the Regional Director of Region 5, ang sabi po niya, let us always be inspired to do our tasks in our field of expertise. Sakit. Laka difícil, but look at him speaking. Ang pag-inspire sa atin ni R.D. to be able to push it, to do it, to embrace, to welcome online learning is there. Before I end po my topic, there is a quote there that you can see. Ang sabi po, let us choose to be optimistic. It feels better. Face-to-face, -face, online learning, kahit ano doon, okay doon. Let us be always positive thinkers. Pero alam niyo po, hindi pa rin po ako nawawala ng pag-asa that someday soon we will be able to see each other again. We will have a face-to-face -face connections with our students. Ang sabi nga po ni Queen, Bring it back! Bring it back! Don't take it away from me because you don't know what it means to me. Thank you for, I hope you have learned something in our discussion today. The roles of online teachers in this pandemic world. Maraming salamat.